For today's episode, we're going to attempt to go back in time. We're going to attempt time travel. Sulu, take us home. Travel back to 1986 and have a good time. Gonna go back in time. <laughs> Gonna go back in time. Gonna go back in time. Hey everybody, I'm back for another video. Uh, hope you guys <clears throat> enjoy this one. Uh, you know, don't forget, hit subscribe. Helps me out. Gets a few more people on there. I'm going to be doing a uh, 50 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we have a very uh, generous benefactor who's going to donate some prize support for such an endeavor. And uh, once we hit that uh, 50 videos, uh, I mean 50 subscribers, then uh, we'll... Go ahead and throw at anyone that is a subscriber in on the uh, fun and uh, see what we can give away. Today, uh, we're doing a little time travel video going back to 86. Uh, gonna open up some OS cards. Good fun stuff. Got a couple packs each of three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These were finds on uh, Facebook Marketplace. It was a pretty, pretty good deal as far as price. Um, a lot of these packs, some of them are still sealed, but some of them have deteriorated over time. And as you can see, a little bit open. We even have a couple packs, I think, that don't have gum, uh, but they appear to have all the cards in them. So let's hope. Not too beat up or anything like that. Uh, let's get going and uh, open some cards. See what we can find. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, it's a Monday here. Probably won't go out for a few more days. Got to edit this and add in fun stuff to the mix. Are we having fun yet? Uh, but let's see what all we got here. Alright. Gum is stuck. Kind of suspected that. Came off pretty easy. Not too bad. And no, I won't be eating the gum. Alright, let's see what kind of OS3 favorites we got here. Babbling Brook. Half Nelson. Probably my favorite one out of the whole set. No, it's not one of the more popular ones, but I think the word plays great. I think uh, it's a cool card. These are in really nice shape. Got a little bit of warp and a little bit of uh, excess uh, pressure on the die cuts, but that's pretty normal for uh, the OS cards. Got Alice Island, Drew Blood. And Mushy Marsha. Unfortunately, this has a copyright on it. I actually need this card in bang up shape with no copyright. It's the only card I need to finish off both copyright and no copyright variant set of OS3. Oh, so close! I have one, but it's a little dinged up and beat up, so. I uh, believe my buddy Alan is going to be sending me one, so that would be pretty cool. Hopefully it comes in and is uh, pretty enough for the collection. Okay, next pack. Smelly Sally. That gum was loose. Woohoo. Still a little bit of a gum stain, but what are you going to do? I'm going to go scrap some of that off, but never get it fully off. Smelly Sally. Snooty Sam. One of the puzzles in OS3. Jetfire. Ah, Roybot. Good pull. Good pull. Always happy to get a nice Roybot. A little off center. Got a little uh, issue with the corner over here. I can't even tell. It looks like might just be a fleck of dirt. Doesn't look like it's dinged or banged or anything, so that's good. Broad Mod and Wrigley Renee. I 
assume most of you know, but the OS3 set came with both copyrights and no copyrights on quite a few of the cards. Um, story has it, they were kind of forgotten on the first batch, so the second batch came out with them. Now we know! And no one is half the battle. G.I. It's hard to tell which ones you're getting. I don't know of any indicators on the pack or anything like that. OS4. Okay, gum not stuck. That's good, good, good. Mardi Gras. Crystal Gale. I actually did know these were going to be uh, first print run, so we don't get the uh, triplets uh, as they were in these, but still cool to have the OGs. Double Iris. Whispering Woody. And Swollen Sue Ellen. One of those cards that just kind of grosses you out. Especially since she's got little hairs and zits and all that good kind of stuff. Second OS 4 pack. This one's sealed nice. That's a nice wax line on it. Alright, Hunted Hunter. Unfortunately, I didn't do my research enough to know if this is a die cut error. Error cuts into his antlers right here, so I don't believe this is one. Hi, Gene. Max Axe, definitely a standout in OS4. Everybody likes the execution of man. Hollywood. Checklist, of course, still says Woody Allen. Foxy Francis. For a long time, I, this was the last card I needed for my OS4 set. I have a complete one with all the variations, so no longer needed. Here's one of those no gum packs we got here. Let's see what we got inside. Hopefully, it's at least OS5. The cards are in still really nice shape. A little bit of gum residue, but nothing terrible. Flecked right off. Very nice. Tag Ted. Johnny One Note. Wendy Winston's brother. Gentleman that was in the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Cinematic masterpiece, of course. Bill Ding. And Jordan Nuts. OS5 is kind of one of my least favorite sets. I don't know. Never really resonated with me. I remember uh, opening packs in uh, sixth grade in the cafeteria would uh, swap and somebody would always end up getting a box and selling off packs and all that fun stuff. So uh, we all tried to buy the packs so we could uh, get our uh, sets complete. Trade and swap and all that fun stuff. Hot Doug. Good card. Good card. Starchy Archie. Kind of our first take on the Pillsbury Doughboy. Gassy Gus. Underdog has gotten away. The balloon? No, no, the actual cartoon character. Batty Barney. This one's a pretty cool card. I do like Batty Barney. Gil Grill. Another good one. Kind of morbid, kind of cool. And we go a little more into the future. From the past. OS 6. Nice seal on this. Wax marks in the full shebang. This one's reluctant to open. Just looks like wax. I don't see any glue on there. Although, who'd be resealing OS 6? Seems kind of silly. Alright. Fortunately, we're back to a little bit of stuck gum. Came off fairly easily. It is going to leave a stain, though. Barbecue. Which reminds me of the time I was in New Guinea, 
and a tribe of cannibals forced me to barbecue a missionary. <laughs> Next on Tales from the Barbecue. Screaming Mimi. Paddling Madeline. Bert Cage. And Pressed Preston. A lot of sideways squirts in that pack. Three fifths of them. Made me do a lot of work. Okay. Got most of the gum in there, but a little, little piece decided to uh, stick on. Pop. Yeah, it took a little color off there. Oh well. Jan Han, Clean Marine. Oh, another lot of sideways card pack. Eavesdropping. Good gravy. Bloodshot Scott. Featured in 35th anniversary as well. Shrill Jill. I thought this one was pretty cool. Coloring's really cool. Teed off Tom. months later to OS7. This one, not so sealed. I forget which one it is, but I do need one card out of this set to complete another set. I didn't even think about looking at it before I opened, to be honest with you. Braided Brandy. Royal Flush. I like that card. Oh, seven's a good set. I don't know if it was underappreciated, but I don't know if it was as appreciated as some of the earlier ones, but I like it a lot better than fifth and sixth, actually. Bloom Joan. <laughs> and Hit and Ronnie. I actually needed that Bloom Joan just recently, but got it and picked it up in a trade. Definitely incorrect. The flap isn't even in the right direction. Should have been like that. But as noted, these were cheap. And the card quality seems to be quite nice, so can't complain there. Shattered and stuck all over. Maybe I need to start myself a Mr. Kimball uh, gum jar type deal. An old bowl. Speaking of, if you don't watch Mr. Kimball, watch him. Great videos. Vincent Van Gogh. Pretty cool. If you watch my last video, which if you haven't, you should, because it was a good one. Opened some Battle of the Bands packs and uh, pulled a card uh, having to do with this one. Won't ruin it all, but it was a pretty nice little card. On the last pack, too. The old last pack magic. Haunted Forest. Soured Howard. And Well Done. And so ends our seventh series. Here's eighth series. I think now we are in, oops, a little more gum stuck. Little shards. I think we are now into Slime and Simon. Ooh, waxy. We are now into... No, we're still in 87. I thinking maybe 8... Oh yeah, 87. We started at 86. Gesundheit Heidi. Midge Fridge. And I'm not... with enough light here to tell if that's green slime. I don't know if that's discoloration or what down there. But this one is a... Uh, Variant error, whatever you would like to call it. Um, like I said, I can't tell from this lighting if that's what the 
actual variant card. It is a little discolored, but I don't know if it's a green slime error. Marcel Parcel. And Sling Scott. And the last of us eight pack. I'm a fan of uh, hot sauce, so I always like this card. Oh! Oh! Guess what got me? God! <laughs> Wavy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. It's not mint condition. Dust into dust. Cool card. I like this one. Russell Spout. Kind of reminds me of Brussels sprout, but has nothing to do with that. Squo's Rose. Funny thing. I uh, actually just received a pack from uh, someone from the group. Not a pack, but an uh, envelope. I had this sticker stuck on it. Ortho Donnie. Okay, that does it all for our OS packs, and I do have one other one that came in there. We have a green gum gross pack, but this one also has been opened. And it's one big time hop here to 2003 when these came out. This is my first kind of re-entry into this. I found a pack of these at Walgreens. Probably told that story in another video, but hell, say it again. 1A, Bonehead Ed. 15B, Blinken Blake. 24A, Gutsy Gabriel. What is it? <laughs> oh, insert cards. Shiny and silver. I'm not very up on these. Somebody can tell me in the comments about this, but uh, I know the, some of these came in matte back and glossy back. These are definitely matte back, but I don't even know if it was ANS1 or one of the other series or what. These are kind of cool, you know, throwback to the uh, old days. Uh, but man, they kind of flub the art on these. They don't look nice like the originals. No offense if you're the artist. Sorry about that, but they just don't have that feel of the originals. Metallic Alec. Huh. <laughs> Get into piercing. Shane Payne. And Pat Rat. I believe this was an OS 16 card that, of course, never made it. I think a few of those were, but pretty sure this is one too. Is the other one Mickey Mouth? Not exactly sure. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today when we do our uh, edition of uh, some 80s goodness. Uh, got more OS packs to open. These I wanted to open up first just because, like I said, got them cheap. Met up locally. Uh, nice guy, but uh, well, packs were packs were open. I don't know if over time the wax just kind of deteriorated or what, but card quality was great considering uh, gum wasn't too stuck to the cards. Good edges, good corners. Can't complain. Well, until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Remember, 50 subscriber giveaway. We're getting kind of close. Hopefully we can uh, knock this out in a couple videos and, uh, you know, give out some cards to you guys. All right, guys. Have a good evening. See you next time.